Hey guys, so here we are again, Bitcoin Fridays. Um, I want to first thank everyone who's recently joined uh, in the past week or so, past couple weeks. I appreciate it, guys. Some of you guys have been spreading the word on Facebook and everything. It's really cool. I really appreciate that, guys. So with that, let's hop right in and um, let's pick a winner, guys. So let's go over to the video that everyone entered in. Let's copy this address. Let's go over to the YouTube comment picker. Let's paste that address in here. Search. Got 154 unique comments. It's a good number. And let's go ahead and pick one. Tron Holder is the winner. Thanks, man. Appreciate the mining rig. Thanks, Tron. So let's copy your wallet address here. Let's pull up my Exodus wallet. So we already got $15 in there. Let's paste the address in. Make sure there's no space right there. Send and send. All right, so let's minimize that again. Tron Holder, congratulations, buddy. If you could um, put a comment below this video and let everyone know that you win and you did indeed get the Bitcoin, I'd appreciate it. Um, everyone else, don't worry about it. We do it again next Friday, okay? So with that, let's, um, let's hop in and see what my mining rig did last week. Let's close this down a little bit more. So weekend stats last week. I didn't quite hit five dollars, but I did do four eighty-nine. That's for everything. Five cards. These two cards, I just did get those in a, uh, maybe two hours ago. So I'll probably put those on the um, on this rig tonight. So I'll have four five sixties and a five seventy. I ended up making thirty-four dollars and twenty cents last week. Gross. Um, that's a 4% increase over last week. Uh, NiceHash did $13.65, and my Ravencoin did $20.27. So this rig right here did $20 with two cards on it. Um, after power, the 1066 gig did $1.28, and the 3 gig did $1.05. So that's some pretty good numbers from a two-card rig, $20.27. Uh, this one didn't fare as well, but this one has been, was off um, simple mining and then on nice hash, and I was fooling around with cards. So it wasn't really a solid week that this thing was mining. Um, I do have it on uh, simple mining now. It's back up and running. I did try Raven Coin here's this week, and... Raven coin, it was up, it was working, but the hash rate was so low and it kept um, getting interrupted. The communications with their server kept getting interrupted, which I'm thinking is because that rig is uh, using that TP link where it uses the power, power lines in your house for the internet. I think that might be the issue, but it doesn't seem to bother it when it's mining Ethereum. So I, I don't know. I really don't feel like running an actual cord all the way from my uh, router over to there, which I may have to do eventually, but whatever. So far today, well, not even 24 hours. It's a dollar four in Bitcoin and Ravencoin two dollars and 23 cents already in less than 24 hours. 41 Ravencoins mined this week, giving me a total of 1,851 Raven, hundred dollars worth. I'm at 493 electronium, $16 worth. Total value mined so far to date, $413. That's up from 405 that ended last week. So look at that. I had 405 that ended last week, and I started the week with a value of $332. That's how much everything went up. So it was a good week. Um, 
so uh, simple mining right here everything's running fine no restarts 56.8 mega hash on that three card rig which I'm guessing that should probably go up to about 76 to 80 mega hash when I get those other two cards installed and BIOS modded and working right so that'll be a, that'll be a nice little jump some news here some good news cryptocurrency um, a crypto company could overtake Wall Street's biggest bank says blockchain venture capitalists BC Spencer Bocart, a partner at Blockchain Capital, said that other banks will follow Goldman Sachs and Goldman Sachs's example in opening a crypto trading desk, according to CNBC's Fast Money. Goldman Sachs reported yesterday that they would soon open a trading desk for Bitcoin contracts after being inundated with client requests. inundated with client requests that's that's key right there it means tons of people who aren't in or possibly are not in the blockchain space cryptocurrency want in although bogart told cnbc that the news is definitely a big step he doesn't think that it's a perfect solution that all of a sudden now just opens up the floodgates to the institutionalization of bitcoin Bogar added that his reasoning that banks will follow Goldman Sachs is not particularly because of the Goldman Sachs name, but because this market is so large you can't ignore it anymore. This market is so large you can't ignore it anymore. That's right. Uh, most of these banks have heard about the numbers or seen the numbers that companies like Coinbase and Binance are putting up. There's a real risk that if some of these companies could overtake some of Wall Street's biggest banks if they don't get in the market. As Goldman Sachs will currently only be working with derivatives products, Bogart noted that the next problem to solve will be, will be custody. In the event that Goldman Sachs would, put, would add direct trading of Bitcoin. When asked about the future of cryptocurrency, Bogart told CNBC that the most important question to answer is about the crypto flow, which he believes will see an addition of new buyers. Is the flow going to be greater from hodlers to non-hodlers or from hodlers to or from non-hodlers to hodlers? Just this past month alone, Goldman Sachs has seen several of his, its executives move over to the crypto sphere, with former Goldman Sachs employees now working at the crypto merchant bank, the crypto wallet, and the crypto startup. So there are, there's people leaving these big banks, big investment firms going over into crypto good news guys at the end of April Goldman Sachs hired crypto trader Jason Schmidt as VP of digital asset markets in their securities division to help clients work with cryptocurrencies so it's coming guys I'm telling you we're, we're getting ready to get flooded with a lot of money from people who aren't normally in this market so with that guys um, that's it again Tron holder hodler be sure to uh, comment below let everyone know that you got got your Bitcoin and uh, congratulations again. Um, if you're new here, don't worry. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification icon, and you can enter next week. Okay, I'll be sending it out again. Also, stay tuned for uh, Spartan Mining's Free Hash Fridays giveaway. I believe we'll be doing that later on. Okay, so be sure to look at his uh, latest video. It should be coming out. Probably it might be a live stream later on today. All right, guys, with that, I will see you all Monday. Take care. Bye.